Hello, my name is Gráinne McAlonan and I'm a Professor of Translational Neuroscience at King's College London. I have a particular research interest in the brain biology of neurodiverse conditions like autism. Um, I also have a clinical role in the National Adult Service for Autism and ADHD in the South London and Maudsley NHS Foundation Trust. My name is Ekaterina Malievska. I am a co-founder and chief innovation officer of Compass Pathways. I'm Tobias Whelan. I'm a research scientist at Compass and a PhD student at King's College London. Compass is funding autism study because people living with autism don't necessarily fall into traditional diagnostic or clinical categories, yet they have complex personal and uh, therapeutic needs for support. Despite the increased awareness and education around autism, we still know relatively little about the brain mechanisms involved. And so a study like ours is really important to increase our understanding. This is a new study we're really excited about because it allows us to look at the brain chemistry of autism and neurodiversity. So our study is based on the principle that very complex human behaviours are actually built upon fundamental brain mechanisms. And those mechanisms are controlled by chemicals such as serotonin. Now we believe there's a difference in the serotonin system in people with and without autism, and especially in the serotonin targets of psilocybin. And we can test that idea by using MRI and EEG to look at brain mechanisms and detect whether we see a shift in those mechanisms when we give people a low dose of psilocybin. My 12-year-old brother has autism and so I'm, I have first-hand experience with some of the challenges associated with autism and how my family's had to adapt and also the lack of support there can be for families of those with autism. There's a well-known expression in the autism community that if you've met one person with autism, you've met one person with autism. And so what I hope our study can be is a crucial first step in understanding who amongst the very heterogeneous autism population that psilocybin can potentially help. We're interested in the brain science of autism because we think that's a first step to providing more choices for the autistic population. Autism's highly diverse. So there are lots of brain mechanisms at play and every individual may have somewhat different brain chemistry. So we want to discover ways to identify an individual's brain chemical profile and use that information to provide better tailored individual options for people with autism. We hope that this study will allow us to better understand underlying mechanisms of autism and therefore design a better psychological uh, and therapeutic support for people living with autism.